I'm going to give you some names and give me a quick burst, just something. KG. Crazy. <laughs> Paul Pierce. Crazy. <laughs> Rondo. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, damn, okay. Okay, did, did, okay, give me a little bit about the craziness because Crazy. I, I love KG, what he brought to the table. But as you said, he did have that, that you know, one flew over the cuckoo's nest look on his face. When I say, when, every time I talk about crazy, everybody thinks like, oh, he did this, he did that. When I say crazy, I mean like his routine, crazy. His, his basketball mind, crazy. The way he competed, crazy. Like I never seen Paul Pierce miss a shot um, in practice that he he was he was supposed to make. You know, like that to me, that's crazy. KG, I, I've told this story on another podcast where KG, I, I was supposed to get KG out of practice. Doc tells me to go get him. KG is like, nah, bro, get out of here. So I'm like, all right, whatever. You know, you respect your vet, so you run back to the sideline. And Doc, you know, sometimes when you have a veteran team, they kind of coach themselves. So Doc got his head down, and he ain't really paying attention to what's going on five and five. And next thing you know, he pops his head up and he go, didn't I tell you to go get KG? I'm like, yeah, he didn't want to come out. So he interrupted practice, gets KG out of practice. KG starts yelling at Doc, like, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. No, you're not going to kick me out of practice for no damn rookie. You got me fucked up. So, you know, he's going, he's going crazy. So as Doc gets his himself out of the out of the practice, and he talks his shit, get your old ass out of practice, da, 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 da. and KG's on the sideline. You remember the old practice facility? Yeah. You had the little strip on the side. He was on the sideline mimicking everything I did because I was the one that subbed him out. So instead of him instead of him getting his rest, he still was running. I mean that, and when I say that, when I say crazy, that's that's the type of crazy I mean, and that's the reason why he was so good for so long and so respected and, and so feared because he was so competitive that it was crazy. It was crazy, and you you think about all the great basketball players that that ever braced or or ever embraced basketball, they're crazy. All the great, like you know, you talk about Michael Jordan, crazy. LeBron James, crazy. Like, the greats are crazy at some point in their life when it comes to basketball. And talk about Marigold. Uh, with their stem cell uh, research, has been amazing. I went and did an evaluation, and I ended up getting a, uh, a shot. And uh, I'm hoping right now I'm going to be back on the court. These guys were brilliant. They communicate well. They give you an education on what it's like. And that is what really, to me, won me over. Because not only were they going to give me an operation, a procedure, but they were going to educate me about this procedure. And in learning and, 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 and being comfortable, that is how you get well. And that's how you become partners. And uh, my big shout out to those guys. They did a fantastic job. Check them out at marigoldmedical.com. That's the place to be.